If you're struggling to organize hundreds of PDF documents, you're definitely going to benefit from learning all about internal links in today's video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to insert internal links onto your PDF using PDF Element for Windows. My name is George, welcome to the Wondershare PDF Element channel. Here, we provide you with useful tips and tricks to increase your productivity using PDF Element so that you can get things done better and faster. If you find your documents are too long and difficult to navigate, then you're definitely gonna benefit from using internal links. In today's video, we're gonna go over these points. What are internal links? Three ways to create links in PDF step-by-step, -step, including creating a page view link, creating a web page link, and link to a file. And lastly, how to check and delete those links. Part one, what are internal links and external links in PDF? First, let us talk about internal links. Internal links in PDF create connection between different pages, allowing your reader to click on an internal link and navigate very quickly through the PDF to the relevant information that they're looking for. Think of the index page as a simple example for how internal links work. It allows us to move quickly between any chapter or pages within a PDF. These days, PDFs can be highly interactive, so it's important that you know how to take advantage of that interactivity to make your documents easy and fun to read. Can a PDF ever be fun to read? Well, yes. If you use internal links, it's gonna be really, really fun. Another way to add links is by using external links. These are commonly known as hyperlinks. These can link to external sources such as websites, social media pages, or even other PDFs stored on web accessible servers. Both internal links and external links are very easy ways to be able to work with PDF documents more efficiently. Part two, let's get in to how to create an internal link in PDF Element for Windows. Firstly, you will need to make sure you have installed PDF Element. You can go check out the website link in the description below this video to find your free download. Firstly, let's look at how to create a page view link in PDF Element for Windows. This function helps you lead your viewers to the relevant pages so they can find the information they're looking for faster. To get started, launch PDF Element and then we're gonna go into the Edit tab. You can see under the Edit tab, we have the Add Link in the toolbar. After clicking this button, you'll find that your cursor turns into a cross, which means you can choose the area to set up a link. You do this by left-clicking on your mouse and then holding to drag a rectangle around the text. Then our page link window will pop up. This will then show us the different options that are related to this internal link. In this link window box, you'll see it's quite easy to highlight the link via the setting link appearance. Here, you can go up and change the color. So I'm gonna set up the color to blue. We can change the underline style and the intensity. And doing this is very important because this helps us make our link nice and obvious to our viewers so they don't miss it and miss the opportunity to navigate through our document. However, you may not want to turn this rectangle into a highlight. So make sure to cancel that option in case you don't want that. Now we're going to click on the jump to a page view and then move over to the select page button. And this will then let us pick the link to the page we want to navigate to, making this very easy for us to link to the relevant page within our PDF document. You can zoom in, zoom out, or select the page within this view. Once we're happy with this selection, we're gonna click select and then click okay. Let's say you've got a file that's hundreds of pages long and you need to be able to make it easy to navigate. Using these internal links makes it much easier for your audience to get where they need to go without getting frustrated, skimming through all these pages, wasting a lot of time. See, your current rectangle here is set up as an internal link. On to number two, we're gonna set up an external link in PDF Element for Windows. So this is a process that's gonna show us how to create a hyperlink or external link. Within the same pop-up box where we created the jump to a page view, Instead of clicking jump to a page view, we're going to click on open a web page. With this option selected, we're then going to go into the URL box and enter the URL that we want to navigate to. You can do this by either manually typing in the URL you want to go to, but it also might be handy if you go load that page in your web browser, copy the exact link, and then test it before putting it in here, just to make sure your readers get navigated to the right place. With this now entered, we can test it and just check that it's gonna to go to the right place. That is our link working, we're over to the Wondershare website. Now our third link today is going to be linking to another file on your computer. Within that same pop-up dialog box where we had jump to a page view and also open a web page, we're gonna go down to the open a file option. With that option selected, we're gonna go down to file path. Click on the ellipses button to the right hand side. Then within here, we'll go through our Windows Explorer files, pick the file that we want to open and have it selected. Let's give that a quick test to make sure it opens and we're good. That's fully working and every time someone clicks on that, it will open up another file. Regardless of the file that you're trying to open, there is no limitation to the file formats that you are allowed to link to. Time for some pro tips. In a new version of PDF Element, making adjustments to these links is much more simple than it was in the past. Now, if you'd like to make your document link more professional, let's look at some of the set options that we can choose from. So we have link appearance, and we can click on appearance, and here you will see different options. 
So we can choose the link type, the visible rectangle or invisible rectangle, but invisible is not a great option because that sometimes can make the link a bit too hard to find for your readers. If you choose the visible rectangle option, you can select on the colors from the color options. This means that we can then pick any color we want to be the border of that rectangle. It's quite simply done. We can just highlight, and then choose our colors from the color picker. We have different effect types available from the highlight style. So we have invert, push, and outline. You can also choose a line style, line thickness, and other options as you like. We can also change the thickness of the four sides of the rectangle. The higher the value of this setting, the thicker the lines will be. On to number four, how to check and delete our links. For this part, we're gonna make sure that we're in preview mode, which you'll find on the top toolbar over to the right-hand side under the edit tab. With that selected, we're gonna go over and right-click on our link. We'll then receive a small pop-up and then we can choose either the delete or edit the link as we need. If you choose edit the link, it will pop up in the box to re-edit the link. Here we have those familiar settings that we use to set up the link. However, if this link is to open up a web page, this pop-up will look a tiny bit different. We'll have four options saying to open the link in a browser, copy the link location, and then again, delete and edit. If you'd like to learn how to insert hyperlinks in PDF Element for Mac, please search and check the next video on our YouTube channel showing you just how to do that. As we've learned in this video, adding links to our PDFs makes our PDF reading and management much more efficient and very, very useful skill to have. We've been asked in the comments before, is it possible to link back from an internal link in order to get back to where we navigated from. And in this situation, it's actually better to use the bookmark feature. This way, under the bookmarks panel on the left, we can see all of the links created and that allows us to navigate through almost in a interactive menu style. If you'd like to learn how to create bookmarks in PDF Element, please go to our channel and search for bookmark PDF. We hope this video has helped you. If you like these tutorials, please remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And we hope to make many more videos for your PDF Element skills. See you in the next one.